in the movie Pearl Harbor, they have this one scene where he says, uh, they say there's nothing like the heart of a, of a volunteer. Something about a volunteer, man. They, they do it for no paycheck. I hope that you know that as, as the staff of this church, of this local assembly, I hope that you know that we work long and hard for our check. And, and, and we, uh, we appreciate it so much. And just pray that you know how much we appreciate you. This is the one time a year when we want to be able to say thank you. I want to talk to you for a second about a Levite. What is a Levite? They had these certain people in the Bible that could not be... They said that they didn't even want them counted. Don't even count them. Because any time that you counted, you would count uh, all your soldiers, all your fighting men. And you would count them and that's how you would find out what your strength was. He said, but don't count the uh, Levites. He says, set them apart because those are for my service. And there are priests, then there are Levites. And the Levites are those leaders that take care of the temple, make sure it's set up, make sure things are in order. And folks, we have a wonderful, powerful thing happening here at our church. And that's that we have many, many volunteers. Now, now uh, tonight... We know a lot of you do a lot of different things. And, and uh, what we're really going to honor tonight is those that are just consistent. They're like, you know, they are like unfailing. They are tireless. And so there will be another time and we will honor those who, who come and show up and are minute men and women. And, and that's a great thing too. But for tonight, if you, if you didn't get your little cup or something like that, we want you to know that we love you. And, and, but, but there's some people, and you know it, you know, when you come in and you left over the weekend and you come back four days later and it's service time and there's new rug down, who did it? When you leave and you come back three days later and there's a new altar, who did it? When you go and you come back and there's a new stage and a new this and new popcorn, new ceiling, new lights, new this, new, you know, all these things, who did it? These people who are consistent and volunteer. But there's also people that clean and wash and care for babies and teach classes and drive vans and all those things and those people as well are faithful faithful I don't want to make this about construction it's about serving in the house of the Lord and our ministry is so blessed to have more than the average church has for every hundred people they may have two or three people that really serve maybe four or five if they have 10 percent it's it's really good and so tonight we have 50 50 people who, who serve extremely. I'm going to ask if you will come up and you will stand and face me on this angle right here. And, and, and then I'm going to call up five at a time. Yes. Oh, you want, do you really? You know, that's why I love him, man, because he's... Just, just uh, you know what? He knows how to do that right, doesn't he? He, uh, he didn't hurt my feelings. Say, Pastor Jimmy, you forgot to take the offering. Say, Pastor Jimmy, I want to give right now. No. Can I borrow a buck from somebody? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey let, that's, that's good, Shailene. Stand right there. Hey, listen. Well, let's talk about the offering. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Say, go ahead, Pastor. Talk about it. Get ready to give. Amen. Listen, we got to do this. By the way, did you know that, that uh, the magazine that did our article on uh, We're Living Here in Allentown, a national magazine, okay, they want us to take a picture of us and Pastor Abraham's church, and they want to they wanna profile city limits as a church. Listen. They say that they say because of what we've done. We said, well, what did we do? They said, you went sovereign. And just over 30 days of being sovereign, you gave a piece of your church away to another church and, and helped another church. Nobody's done that. So next week, we're going to be taking a picture of their church uh, with our church. And it's going to be in a national magazine, their church. And then we're working on now to make their church 
and assemblies of God. In a, I see, see, Ibrahim. I can do him now. You're here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen, it's time to, to give unto the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Sometimes all the food and all the excitement, I forget about. But listen to me. Isn't that cool, though, that I would skip the offering and forget about it? You know, just, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, isn't it, you know, that, that's not a prayer. Yeah, but, but I mean, you know, I mean, we're celebrating, so. Father in heaven, we thank you for, we thank you that tonight, because we forgot, it's going to be the biggest offering we've ever received. We thank you in Jesus' name for all these honors and these gifts. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. Give to the Lord. Amen. And now Pastor Lewis is, is going to sing a song. My wife, Debbie, is, is some kind of woman. She tells me, put your jacket on. It'll make you look nicer. Put your jacket on. You know what? I got to talk to that cleaner. Because I think that they're using a chemical that's making the material shrink. No, honestly, right? You, got, you, you guys using the same cleaner I'm using? <laughs> Right? We got to talk to it because this cannot happen. Are you ready? Let me give you a minute. You got to give. Listen, if anybody yet needs an offering, Stephen Gross has got some money. He's, 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 he's trying to give out a few bucks here and there. <laughs> hey, are there any announcements, Pastor Lewis? Go, go ahead, Pastor Lewis. Why don't you make a few announcements there? Uh, church, we just want to remind you, we want to keep reminding you about the prayer and fasting calendar, all right? New theme for this week, all right? Last week was uh, consecration. Um, this coming week, we have church preparation. What that means is that we are, we are praying for, um, if we're praying to grow, we have to pray that we can, ourselves can change. And uh, uh, if, we, if we expect 100 people to get saved and we want to grow by 100, we, our mentality, we have to change. And uh, the way that we think about church has to change. And... Uh, we, that's what we want to pray for for this week, all right? For church preparation, that we as a church are ready for growth, all right? Um, and then uh, let me just give you a... Uh, it's okay. That's, right. that's all right. I, I'm, no, I feel the same way. Let me just give you some instructions about how, how is it going to work tonight, all right? It's going to just real simple, all right? Instead of calling one by one, because that would take a long time, Pastor Jim's going to call five people at a time, all right? Whether they're here or not, just that, that group of five, just come up with, it may be two or three people, all right? Because there's some people who are missing, all right? So, and then if you want to come up here to the stage and Pastor Jim, just like this. Out, you want to come over here, all right? There you go, Pastor. I thank you. <laughs> what did you say? Would you show us that again? Okay, look, like this. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for the volunteers. Our sister, Werma Acevedo. Where are you? Is she here? Uh, Werma Acevedo? No? Okay. Hector Benitez is not here also. He's, he's out trying to take care of his family. But he takes care of the parking lot, ushering, greeting. He takes care. He sweeps the sidewalks. And uh, Werma is is a Sunday school teacher who, uh, who does a great job and has and just been tireless and is just is consistent. She just, she's always on time, always ready, always got her stuff all ready to go, and, and, and we really appreciate that. So even though they aren't here, we will speak about them. And Magdalia Cologne, where are you? Are you here? Not here. Not here. Okay, greeter, nursery worker, you know, does, uh, does a wonderful job. Millie Cortez, is she here? here. Millie Cortez is not here. Is there like a seminar going on or something tonight? Is it? 
Okay, Millie Cortez, uh, nursery leadership too. We need people in leadership from time to time who, who just uh, set the bar, not see things on a small scale but on a large scale from a global perspective. And she is one of those people that have helped us to uh, lead and to change that, to turn our nursery around, which is a very important one. Uh, Maris Cruz is not here. I didn't see her, right? Okay. Well, these five people are wonderful people. They are faithful when they're here, and they're, they're faithful. They are faithful. Rita Cruz, teacher of the seven and eights. Okay, also wonderful and, and just faithful. Jewel Davis. <laughs> Listen to me. I want to. Oh, no, no, no. Stand up here with us. Right, right here. Listen, we had these made for you. Look at what it says. It's a city limits cool mug. And on the back, it says a cup of gratitude. Now, what does mug mean? You know how I am, right? Mug ministers unto God. Thank you. Stay there, stay there. We want to give you some company here. Sandra Dillman. Hmm? Okay, Sandra Dillman. Okay. Louis Elias. Is he here? Is he there? Is he here? Oh, here he is. Louis, come on up here. Okay. Mr. Jim Groner, stand right there. Stand. Yeah. Stand, stand right there. Set him up for me, Pastor Lewis. Okay. Pastor Jim, could you do that again? Watch, watch. Look, watch, watch. Second, third, fourth. There you go. <laughs> you, you just stand right there. You just, it doesn't matter. Right? Listen, at this time, I just want to thank you. Jim, when I think of you, van driver, usher, maintenance, ministry, armor bearer, whatever you can, uh, coffee maker, coffee getter, and just, uh, I really appreciate all you do. And here's a cup of gratitude from City Limits. Okay. Whenever you drink that, I want you to think of that, 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 that we are grateful to you. Sandra Dillman. And guess what I'm doing with yours? Since you do this a lot, I'm going to make sure this is nice and clean. A cup of gratitude. Thank you for all you do, Sandra. Thank you. And for Louis the Mo Louis Elias. Louis. <laughs> Louis, we're so, so sorry about it. Your dad, man. Aren't you glad he's saved? He's on the other side. Amen. Listen to me, Louis does a whole lot around here too. He doesn't just uh, come in and play congas or drums or whatever we need him to play, but he'll often come and volunteer in the daytime and work a whole day with us and work on anything that we need done. And uh, some people do windows and some don't do windows. He, he'll just, what do you need? You know what I mean? He'll be on a roof or patching, plastering, hanging off. We could tie him to the steeple and he'll, he'll just do whatever, you know? And, and, uh, and he got his license last week too, man. Yeah. Cup of gratitude. Thank you. I love you guys. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys so much. Can I maybe get an usher, deacon over there, somebody who can make sure that people make it down safely. You know, all this honor, they may miss a step there, you know. Next five, I'm going to call it Stephen. Stephen Gross, otherwise known as Spark, the Spark Master. Okay, Ann Gross. Michelle Holy Ghost Henderson.
Mr. Lucas, I'll pick you up. Hernandez. Yeah. And our very own last but not least, our Deacon Ray Hernandez. What can I say about these people? Let me, let me. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Stephen. Stephen. Going to get toilet tissue, we found you, right? <laughs> me and Ray were getting sanitary napkins and sandpaper. I don't know what we were doing with those two things. That's too up, but anyway, we were just. Uh, he has worked on our ushering, on the security, on maintenance, on armor bearing, on friendship, on electrical, on plumbing, on sewage, on friendship, on ministry, on crying, on picking up uh, uh, broken hearted people to uh, delivering furniture to people, you know, just, just um, above and beyond. Yeah. List is too short. And Anne. She's a, a greeter and a cleaning team leader. Most people, most people have that. M most people have that ministry, and that's like like a plague. They 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 soon will quit the church after a year. So, I I appreciate your leadership in that so much. I know keeping this place clean with with all the bubble gum and popcorn ministry we have is not easy. And I thank I I really thank you. You know, for your leadership and for stocking downstairs, making sure that that everything is squared away, and for the kitchen, and for you know uh, teaching, and for summertime teaching, and for everything that you do, and for being a good mom. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Michelle Henderson. Yeah. There's a new team that we have now. A new ministry is called the TNT team. I made that up. That's our techies in training. <laughs> techies in training. And she's been working on that. Also uh, works and ministers here as a greeter and as a servant. And, and we just really appreciate you too. Lucas Hernandez. Hi. I, I think of Lucas as the quiet storm. I'm going to tell you why. He'll never puff his feathers out and never, you know what I mean? Most people will do things that, Pastor Jim, <laughs> I'm cleaning this. You know what I mean? He just, he just does it. He goes home and he does it, turns in the keys and just keeps on going and just, 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 uh, I just know, brother, I just, I want you to know that even though you get away fast, man, <laughs> many times before we can say thank you, but we know what you do, man, and we see it, and we're so, so thankful to you as a van driver, also as an usher, also as a greeter, also as the uh, donut man, as the, I'll clean up all the bubble gum stains and the coffee stains, ma'am, the, 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 all that stuff too, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, and, and so we just thank you for that so much. And our Deacon Ray Hernandez. I want to read you my list for him. He's a deacon, an elder, an usher, a Berean teacher, membership class teacher, a servant. A servant of God. And uh, we are casting vision that as we move forward with, with, our, with our training of men, that he is going to be one of the stable people in Berean and one of the directors, if not the director of the Berean Institute when it goes in the daytime and when we're training people so that people who are not working can come and be trained at different times than just on a Tuesday night. Amen. And that's going to be our pleasure. Guys, a mug. Ministers unto God.
Mugs, get it? Cup of gratitude. Thank you, Amy. This is a cool cup, by the way, isn't it? Is it? Thank you. Thank you so very much, Deacon. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. You see how I do that? Almost, almost. Thank you very much. Give them a hand. Many churches buy four, uh, four flowers and one mug and give it to three or four people and send them home. So we have a list here. The next five on deck. Sister Ruthie. I got the kids, Hernandez. All right, Leila Hernandez. She's not here. She's a greeter. I just want to, okay. Michael El Gancho Hook. Listen, I want, I want you to get this name right because I believe when they named this woman at birth, they named her wrong. They named her Pee Wee Cants, but Pee Wee Can. Yeah. Yeah. Phyllis Cants. And Mr. Mike Kissel. And Tammy Kissel. Come on up here. <laughs> Father, we just bow in prayer for that first row over there with the will of the Lord. And she says, My daughter's not a single mom yet. No, no. Sister Ruthie, just uh, when I first came here, I remember spoke to a couple of people and they said, what you need, Pastor Jimmy, when you start a church is, is that you need some anchors, some stabilizers, people that have been in the faith a while that love the Lord and have been through storms and know how to make the anchor hold even when the water's rough. And you have been that and much, much more. You also are an elder, servant, and minister, and a children's church, and VBS, and, and, and leadership, and the model of a mom, the model of a woman, the model of a godly woman, the model of a godly servant. And it just goes on and on. And... Uh, We had one page that's all yours. We figured you wouldn't, you wouldn't want that, and, 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 and you would just tell us that that's too much. So we just, we, we love you, and I want you to know that we really appreciate you so much. Michael Hook, you've changed. You're like the tattooed son I never had. Michael, Michael's a good man. Mike, Michael's a good man. Michael's a good man. Michael is a servant. Michael, I remember when Michael didn't like to, to be called a servant, but as I said earlier this morning, it's already in us. You know, it's, it's, it's already in us. And I love him working with our youth now. I just think it's, it's just a natural. I love being able to say that there are men involved in teaching. You know, men, you know, men, men that we can trust and, and, uh, and a part of our worship team. And, and folks, musicians are musicians. Even saved musicians are just, we're, we're just strange people. We're, we're just, it's just weird so 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 uh, uh, peculiar you and and so we just are thankful because 
as hard as it is to uh, minister up here. We don't come in and practice and have our, have our rehearsal times. And we come in and we try to put this all together every week for every service. And they somehow, they pull it out, you know, and they, they, they just make it work. And we know it's the Lord, but, but you know, it's, we also are individuals. And, 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 and so we appreciate you as a minister, a servant, and as a worshiper, and as a leader in worship. Thank you very much. Phyllis, Ken. You know what? The word, the word that comes to our mind is, anytime you need me, Pastor Jim. That's all I ever hear. I've never heard her say no. Never heard her say I can't. Just, anytime you need me, Pastor Jim. I'll be over in a few minutes. Is that okay? Would that be fast enough? I'm, I'm downstairs now. Is that quick enough? We have people call and say somebody's either locked out of the church and just say, I got it. I'll, I'll be over in a minute. Is that quick enough? And just, not only that, but just that she would just, you know, we've been doing a whole new ministry with trying to start our reach home community services, which, by the way, we got our license. We're an official corporation, now separate. And uh, we've had all these big shots, uh, the mayor, a judge, other people, leaders, uh, DEA, people from all kinds of places come down. And we will call her and just say, Phyllis, uh, can you come over and, you know, it's Monday and make it look good. Uh, some people are coming through and I'll walk them through and the place looks like it was just done fresh, you know. And I know what I saw when I came through by myself. So I know it didn't look that way. So I know that they came in and cleaned it up. And sometimes I'm a few steps behind them. I hear doors closing. I mean, I can still smell pine saw and stuff being sprayed. When I walk in the room, I say, yeah, it's nice in here. I'm thinking it sure is. I, I better give them a minute to get ahead of me and get out the other door. But just thank you for all that. And Michael. You know, uh, working and laboring with us now as an usher, also maintenance, also in repair, also how can I help, how can I lift, push, shove, uh, construction, whatever, you know, comes in, I'll do whatever. And uh, we appreciate you being a servant, man, and, and we appreciate you growing in the Lord and growing in this body, and, and uh, we know that God's got some greater things for you too, but we appreciate you right now. Amen. <laughs> And Tammy. I appreciate her. You know what? I, I, I know a lot of you come. And, and so this isn't why I'm giving this out tonight. But I just want to mention. I come in on Sunday mornings. And I come in here for early prayer. And I always see their family and their daughter down here praying. And some of us others too. I just think, man, you know, you can't lose if you're doing that, you know. You know, and I just, I want you to know how much I appreciate that. Not only that, all of the ushering, all the helping, everything that you do and how you help out around here. So we want to give you all a mug, ministers under God, a cup of gratitude from City Limits. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Did he just hold this up? <laughs> yes, Phyllis, can I? Would you give them a hand? Give them a hand. My sister, where is she? Rita Lilly. Where's Jennifer Lilly? I don't mind if Danny walks up with you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, that's no longer a secret, is it? <laughs> Susan McGlade, step forward. And uh, Robert Medina is not here tonight, but, but, but he's just a, a wonderful armor bearer and a good man, and, and, and he's a, a teacher also, and, and so we're trying to see if that whole job thing will work out and he can come back home. He's got to work in New York so he can pay his bills, but, but he's, he really misses being home, but just uh, we've got a mug for him because he just goes above and beyond, by the way, as well. A wonderful, wonderful man. And uh, Yolanda. I'll be here, Molina. Where is she? Where's Yolanda? Oh, somebody's got to go, go give her five minutes. And there's, there's Tammy, Phyllis, Sandy, 25 people just ran down. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I'll go bring her up here. Margarita Pantoja. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They, yeah, you know what? You know. <laughs> Kelly, listen, listen. Kelly, though. No. <laughs> listen about about seven years ago. I think it was a long time. It might have been five. Margie, I listen. To me, we absolutely love Margie up front, don't we? When we preach, we we just love Margie because she's an encouragement. Sometimes it's the only amen, right? But I remember I'm preaching once, and I said, that dirty dog, I'll tell you what they did to him. They, they shot him, and they stabbed him, and then she said, hallelujah, que lindo, ¿verdad? <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, he was a no good wretch, and I'll tell you what, man, but, uh, backslidden as you get. She said, praise God, hallelujah, <laughs> que lindo. <laughs> I just love it. I, I, I absolutely love it. Okay, let me settle down. Rita. Rita. The list is too short. 